Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to figure out what it is that you are going to sacrifice for your writing. So let's get into this. This came up because the other day, um, I can't remember if it was on a video, if it was on a stream or what it was, but I was talking about how I don't have a TV anymore. And I gave up my TV because my TV was a time suck. It just continually, like if I would walk by and see it on, I would sit down and be hypnotized. And because I have such an addictive personality, if I started a show and the whole show was on said streaming service... I would fucking watch the whole thing and not fucking breathe or do anything good for two days, you know? So one of the things I did, um, and a lot of this dates back to even when I was living out in the desert. Um, cause originally when we were out in the desert, I didn't have the space or the solar power to run a flat screen TV all the time. So I just said, well, fuck it. I just don't want the fucking TV then, you know? Yes, I can watch things on my computer. I don't, but I can. If I watch anything anywhere, it's usually on my phone, and I usually only watch YouTube because I just want short little things that I don't have to commit to. Because I find that when I do these things and I watch TV and I get sucked into shit, I am not creating. And can some of those things inspire me to create? Yes. But the time to creation ratio was shit. So I go back and I look through all the periods of my life where... I was the most creative. And if I look at those things, it was when I wasn't being distracted by shit. So that's really important for me. And it made me think of, you know, like the old pulp writers, you know, fucking type hard. Like, how did these motherfuckers write anywhere from 20 to 50,000 words over a weekend? And then you think about it, and, like, they didn't have... Obviously, they didn't have internet. They didn't have fucking TV, just because they didn't have it. Um, they had radio, if they had a radio. But if not, all they had was books. And maybe a telephone, if they were rich. You know? Like, they were able to do this shit, because there weren't the distractions that there are today. I'm not saying you have to come up with something to get rid of, but if you could, like, what would be the thing that you would cut out of your life to give you more time to create? Would it be TV? Would it be the internet? Would it be, fuck, people? Fuck, I don't know. Um, I also saw this thing. I've been seeing it every once in a while. It's like a little typer with like a little screen, like an LCD screen. So you can write and not have the computer, like not have distractions, not have the internet, not have notifications. And that is a really cool gadget if you have absolutely no self-control. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm sure you could look it up. Um, so that might be fun to have just as like a fluke, you know, that's kind of cool. But um I don't know. Like, you just have to have a, a little bit of willpower to be able to be on the computer and not be on Netflix and shit like that, or Facebook, or whatever the fuck you're on. So anyway, leave it down below. What would you get rid of? What would you sacrifice for your art? Anyway, keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.